Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's open. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. What's going on everybody, it's Mario Man 2100 back again with the Super Smash Bros. Brawl Anniversary Mini-Series on my channel. And now we're going into the Australian release date video and we're just going to do All-Star Mode. And I gotta tell ya, if you thought the hardy difficulties of Classic Mode were a little bit on you, All-Star Mode really takes it up a notch. Because you've got to play against every single character in this game. All characters. All of these guys, <laughs> you have to play against. So let's play with my favorite character, with my best character in this game, Luigi. And let's take it up a notch. And, yeah. <laughs> the first match isn't that hard, I will say. But, especially on higher difficulties, my god, this really gets pretty hard. And to beat this mode without using any health items, I think is a challenge. Oh god. Mushroomy Kingdom. I kind of like this stage, but kind of hate this stage at the same time. Like, I don't mind it. It's a nice concept. And yes, we only have one life in this thing, so if we die once, that's it. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically if I jump over the portal here... I should have went. We have three heart containers. They're good up until I think a little bit over 100%. I think in this game in particular, uh, that's what the fairy bottle does in Smash 4. It's like 100, you have to be at at least 100% to um, use it and replenish health and percentage. Bye, Diddy. You were still so good in this game, why are you so good in Smash 4? And the reason why he rocked so much did, uh, Donkey Kong there, that spike in Rumble Falls, I hate it. It is the worst spot for that thing. <laughs> if you get sent straight up in that situation, you hit that spike, bam, dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter what percentage you're at. Um, I think it's over like 30%, you're dead. And we have Balloon Trip. I think it's, for some reason, I think the, the game is called Balloon Fight, but I think in this, the, the music track is called Balloon Trip. I'm not sure if, like, Europeans called the, instead of Balloon Fight, Balloon Trip. But uh, we have the Ice Climbers here. Hopefully they return in Smash Switch. Like, to me, that still doesn't feel real. <laughs> like, S Smash Switch coming this year, like, even just the game in general, doesn't feel like it actually exists. I mean, this will be posted after E3, but this is being recorded, like, a few weeks beforehand. I think it's, like, I think it's 29 days from today, I think it's the start of E3. And we have the Mario Brothers stage. Oh my god, I hate this stage. <laughs> I'm so happy that this thing didn't really return in 
a really big capacity because I hate this stage. <laughs> like, I gotta say, Mario Brothers is is a chaotic stage and I love it, but at the same time I really hate it. <laughs> it's like one of those stages that just you could go either way with. Alright, pirate ship. Do you love this stage? It's not too bad. I don't I think it's it's one of my favorite Zelda stages, but it isn't my favorite one. I still have to think that Temple is still my favorite. And we have this Excite Bike guys. Excite Bike guy, why are you not in Smash as a playable character yet? Sakurai, like, you want retro characters, that's one for you right there. That I know you've been trying to develop for ages. Oh, I thought I, got, I was gonna get, the, I thought I was gonna get the hitbox with that. <laughs> I hate the cannon in this thing. Hey Ganon. Plus she's a Ganondorf. <laughs> oh god. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen when I couldn't jump. And here's the continue stream. We're showing everything off this time. And we lose half our score for... Replaying. So that's gonna take off, I think, 10,000 points at least. Off my fun score. <laughs> So I don't mind, like, Zelda in this game, like, Zelda is okay, but it could be a lot better. <laughs> and Toon Link's pretty good too. We'll say, I prefer Toon Link in this game than, than Smash 4. I think it's just a bit too... A bit too floaty. That was your fault, Ganondorf. <laughs> Wait, I think the Franklin badge actually reflected the... Because the, I think the, the soccer ball technically would count as a projectile. So I think it hit and then ricocheted off me. And then hit Ganondorf again. <laughs> so yeah, so the pirate ship does crash into the rock sometimes. But it will eventually go down. Like the, the the like the flood just happens and says like yep. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see my points went way down. Samus. So it gives you an indication of who's up next. Up the top for you when you're playing against, when you're in the rest area. I still think, I think uh, Luigi, I think is mid-tier in this game. In, in, in Brawl. I think he's, he's okay, but he's not like, absolutely incredible. <laughs> but uh, I still, like, it's still my best character. Smash 4, I don't play with Luigi as much because it's just like Mario feels a lot better, Sonic is definitely a lot better, Captain Falcon I've got a massive handle on in Smash 4. I mean, he's a little bit like his Brawl counterpart but he is definitely a lot better, uh, Captain Falcon. Come here Pit, god damn it. I don't have the range on it, god damn it. Oh, don't want to step on that platform, actually. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. But yeah, there's a lot of characters that are a lot different. Like, I think Ike in this game is kind of better in some regards than Smash 4, but Smash 4 does have its, um, um advantages, that's, that's the word, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what the word was, I was going to say bonuses, but that wasn't right, yeah, it, did, it's, it does have its advantages, Smash 4 Ike, but uh, Brawl Ike is definitely faster, which I love, and Ah, uh, this is a guy we're never going to see again. Solid Snake. 
not gonna say this guy again in Smash Brothers ever. I mean, yeah, I'm saying that, and like this is gonna be posted after E3, but I, I just, I don't think Sakurai will want to put Snake in after what Konami did to Hideo Kojima and and even just the Metal Gear series in general. Like Metal Gear Survive, I hear is a really, really eh game. So the fact that you know. They couldn't continue with the other, um, the other DLC episode or the the, the, the third arc in um, Metal Gear Solid Five. Like I didn't play too much of that game because I didn't really didn't really like it too much. I think I might have left it a little bit too long as well. Like that's another game that's probably um, that I left too long to play, um, so I could get back into it, but I think I'm going to get back into the the other Metal Gear Solid games, uh, and play those first before playing Metal Gear Solid 5 again, if I ever do that. Uh, Unfounded Revenge, I believe is what the song is called. Love this song. This is used in Lucas's uh, DLC reveal trailer, and my god, like, I was so happy to see Lucas back <laughs> for Smash 4, like, I was like, yes. Because, <laughs> like, Ness was getting beat up, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be Lucas, doesn't it? And Lucas shows up, and I'm like, yes, Lucas is back. <laughs> like, like, I prefer Lucas over Ness now. Like, I used to not really like Ness and not like Lucas. But I definitely will say that Lucas is definitely my preferred character out of the two, uh... Earthbound characters that are in the game. Like, Ness is great, but, uh, Lucas is a lot better. Especially that, that, that up smash, my god. Sorry, Ness, but your Smash 4 counterpart is definitely a lot better. Like, if you hit me with that PK Thunder on the ground, it is gonna really do some damage. Lucas, on the other hand, still is around about the same. I think he's more powerful in some regards. Jeez, the, the, the blast zones on this stage are so huge. <laughs> uh, I'd better, I'd better use another heart container. <laughs> Because I know Marth can do a lot of damage, and Ike will definitely kill me. Especially at the percentage I was at. Like, I may have, like, floaty jumps and stuff in Brawl in general. And there's a little bit of that. A little bit of floatiness, but my god. Like, it, see, like, Electrode would have come out, and I probably wouldn't have been able to avoid it. And I probably would have been blown up and died. That, that was nice teamwork, I will say. Don't know what that was. What are you doing over here, Ike? Tripping. I <laughs> never missed that. <laughs> I never missed that. <laughs> like, tripping, I don't... Like, I love this game. I still think this is my favourite Smash game. Only just over Smash 4 just because of the cast of characters in Smash 4 is great as well. Like, even better, I think, in, than in this game. In terms of, like, not just the third-party characters, but all the, all the other characters that come in, like, Mega Man, Cloud, Bayonetta, like, Lucas coming back, characters like Little Mac, you know, like, the roster was just incredible in, in Smash 4. And I still don't know how they're gonna beat it in Smash Switch. I have no idea. Like I said, this video probably this is the third time I'm saying it now. This video is uploaded after E3, so Ready? and we're recording it on the 11th of May, so really early, <laughs> about like four or five weeks early. But 
I wasn't. I thought the the anniversary might be in the first week of June, not the last week in June. I don't mind this song too. I, oh, I forget the, the name of it. That's a fully charged and forward smash, dude. Not gonna get past that. So I think it gives you the points on how much damage you do in the stage. Ready, on a character, to so say if you get like, I think, like I said, I think it was 67 on Captain Falcon there. So this should, this should give me 3,900 points. No? For like damage and maybe time gets into it, like if you're taking too long. It might, I don't know. Like I mean eventually it will, and the classic mode even does that too. Mennonite's Revenge. <laughs> Gracing me with your presence ever so again. <laughs> But yes, top tier is always is is Meta Knight in this game. I like I can kind of I like I played Meta Knight and I I kind of kind of see where all the um, hubbub is about him being top tier, but I also don't kind of see it. What the hell? Man. Like, I haven't played All-Star mode in ages, but my god, like, far out. I was gonna say, if those two characters stay down there, we take off. They were dead. I've done that before. That's that's one thing that I do like to do in Classic mode and All-Star mode, from memory, was keep the guy, keep the, the characters off this stage in that area, because, my god. And I think... I do think that with classic and all-star mode, I think some of the, the stages are um, um, random. Like Final Destination is always stage 11, but um, I think with this stage, like you could get green greens in this uh, this battle as well. Um, so there's that yeah, green greens from melee. But yeah, like I was saying, like, Meta Knight, I can definitely see why he's top tier. Like, there's a lot of... A lot of recovery, I will say, in his jumps. <laughs> oh. <Fuck off. laughs> I was like, I saved you, now die! <laughs> and we're on our last row of characters. Wolf is in this battle. Could I say Wolf coming back? Yes. But, um, I don't know whether they drop. I, I think that at this point, I don't think they can drop Falco, but I would rather Fox and Wolf, because Wolf is technically a villain in the series. So unless they had something like Andros or Pigma or, or someone of that nature, like a villain from the Star Fox games, like Wolf is the one that I would want to return, and Falco not so much, because I think we need more villains, and Wolf not returning in Smash 4 is also another <laughs> another weird situation, because I'm like, well, why is it Wolf in this game? <laughs> like, Pichu I can understand to a certain degree, like even I particularly want Pichu back, even though I didn't play with Pichu in Melee, and the mechanics were definitely a, a, a really weird for Pichu. I knew exactly when that hammer showed up, like, if I don't get this, this is gonna kill me. And, surely enough, dropped some score down to just under 40,000 bloody points. I swear, this game is cheating half the time. It's like, you're not doing the battles fast enough. Here. Yeah. Death. The <laughs> oh, metal box could have used that too. But yeah, like I, I hope Wolf gets back. But if he doesn't, I 
I'll, like, if Falco comes back and Wolf doesn't, then I'm going to be a bit skeptical, but if he doesn't come back, I don't particularly mind. Like, Wolf wasn't one of my characters that I used a whole lot. But still, like, the fact that he's not there and is a villain from one of Nintendo's, well, I would say premier franchises, but other than Star Fox Zero, uh, that series hasn't seen a game since, what, like, 2003? No, I should say, actually, no, 2007, with Star Fox Command. I was thinking Star Fox Adventures or Assault was the last one, but it wasn't. Command was. God damn it, lame master. Yeah, Falco killed himself again. <laughs> that sometimes does happen in classic mode, which I love, because it's just like, Falco, why? Why you do this, man? Ready, go! Ah, man of pizza. And Wario. Being his weird self again. I don't know which... I think I prefer Smash... Uh, uh, like, Brawl's Wario than, than Smash 4's for some reason. Like, I mean, I love the power boost that Wario kind of got in Smash 4, but... No, we're both going to lose this mid again. <laughs> I love this stage. <laughs> I love WarioWare Inc. Definitely one of my favorite stages in Brawl. Um, yeah, I'll use the heart container now, because knowing me, I'm going to get killed by Lucario or something. As for new Pokemon reps in Smash Switch, uh, I think Decidueye definitely has a chance to be there, because I mean, we don't have a, we don't technically have a grass starter anymore uh, with Smash 4's roster, because Ivysaur is gone. If I remember correctly, I believe the Pokemon Trainer is all three in this, this mode. Bye, Lucario. Jigglypuff is considered to be the worst character in this uh, game, only because of, like, oh man, like, what did they do to her? Lugia! Lugia is almost, I think, a confirmed kill in this game. Fireballs, which I don't particularly use yet. As we've seen, yes, the Pokemon trainer has all three Pokemon. Squirtle is my mum's favourite Pokemon. <laughs> like, no question, it's her favourite. <laughs> like, like, I think out of Greninja and Squirtle, I think I prefer Squirtle, but that's because I've been playing with Squirtle longer than Greninja. Like, Greninja is not my character. Like, Sheik was never my character, so the fact that, um, like, we technically got another one of those with Greninja. Like, Sheik isn't technically one of my characters that I play. So the fact that we got Greninja, which was technically another one on top of that, um, didn't phase me too much. Like, I didn't mind like Greninja being there, but Ready, just definitely wasn't one of my characters, we'll say. And the last character is Olimar. Oh god, I'm lucky that that ledge is actually grabbable, because if it wasn't, I was dead against Olimar, which, god damn it. <laughs> I would have been so pissed. I would have been like, this is not my favorite character, this is, this is my f least favorite character in this game. And the fact that I died to him. Okay, so use a uh, 20,000 points, there you go. But yeah, the last character in the game is, is Olimar. I don't know whether it's 
um, alphabetical order or what the order is consisting of All Star because it's it's always the same. Always start with Game and Watch and always end with Olimar. So unless it's like yeah. Which even to me wouldn't make sense because Lucario is older <laughs> than than Olimar. Like it, like actually I should say he's younger. Because he was out in 2006 and, and the first Pikmin game I think was out in 2001-2002 so maybe 2003 I don't, I'm, I'm not sure but yeah we have the credits again same credits as um, classic mode got shadow this time Pokemon, this is where I just it'd screw up. <laughs> like, I think I maybe have once got every single Pokemon. But the trophy is all over the place, so you can't get all of these. But yeah, as you've seen with All-Star Mode, this, this doesn't carry out as Smash 4, but one of the things that I do love about this game is that with um, All-Star Mode, you completing All-Star Mode, with a character, you actually get a trophy of their final smash uh, in this game, which I would have preferred in Smash 4 as well, like I would have preferred that to be an actual trophy thing that you can get in Smash 4, but I think it's just an alternate um, alternate skin and all, uh, like alt, alt color of the character and an alternate um, pose. And I think that the the outro video I think is the same for um, All Star in Classic Mode from memory. And there we go. That is All Star Mode. That that took a while. <laughs> I always forgot. I like uh, doing Classic Mode. I'm like, geez, that was so short. Oh god, All Star Mode. I haven't even done that yet. And I remember that being so long. But especially on the higher difficulties, it's, it, it it can get longer and longer. So. That's it, technically, for Super Smash Bros. Brawl's anniversary miniseries. Like, we've done all the anniversaries, but I think we have one more video to go. I think to end, uh, to... I think it might do a couple of videos, but I mean, not Subspace Emissary, because that's going to be an LP in itself. Eventually. But I think... Um, with Brawl... I think we need to have a proper send-off with some, uh, with the tournament, I reckon, not today, probably close to the end of the year, I think I will eventually do that tournament in this game, maybe eventually do it in Smash 4, I mean, we got Smash Switch coming up, and to celebrate that game coming out, whenever it comes out, I think I'll be doing that, the Super Smash Bros. Brawl tournament, because it'll be just here. And that's it. It's like, realistically, we've done brawls, we've done normal brawls, we've done special brawls, we've done classic, we've done all-star mode. Subspace and Missouri is its own beast altogether, so I can play that whenever I need to, because I, I, I was going to do an LP of that a while ago, but then I think some call me Johnny and the SGB team were doing it at the same time, and I was like, I better not, because I, I, I learned that from Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> and doing that at the same time, I was like, God damn it, <laughs> these guys beat me to it. And I really wanted to play jo uh, with Jordan in um, Subspace Emissary to have a, like a two player mode, because it was that and New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which I, I was going to do as well, and do it as a two, a two player co op thing, um, but that didn't plan out, so. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but well, we'll be eventually doing a tournament in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, because I love this game, and I think it'd be a proper send-off. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this Super Smash Bros. Anniversary All-Star Mode video thing from this mini-series that I've been doing for a couple of months now, so that's always a big plus. This has been Mario Man 2100, you guys have a great day and night, and of course... Take care.